A frightening new type of computer virus wreaking havoc across homes and in offices across the U.S. and the world. It's called ransomware. We saw it really ramping up last year. It's ramping up again this year. Don Meyer with Checkpoint Software Technologies is here. So let's start with, if I don't know what ransomware is, very simply, what is it? Ransomware is an actually, uh, it's a variant of malware or malicious software um, that does two really important things. Number one, it takes files and it encrypts them. Uh, so what that means is it jumbles them up so that you can't read them. The second thing it does is it holds those files for hostage until you do something, such as pay a ransom. Uh, in this case, a lot of what ransom is is uh, Bitcoin types of uh, transactions. In the amounts of sometimes of hundreds of dollars, sometimes several thousands of dollars, depending on who the individual is or who the organization is that's being targeted. So I'm working at my computer, I get a sudden flash of red or a screen that says, you can't get any of your uh, files or anything, any of your important documents until you pay $10,000 or something like that, and, and then I can't access anything, I can't delete anything, I can't do anything with my computer. Correct, exactly. Essentially, a lot of these attacks are socially engineered. So um, you'll see an email that looks like it's coming from a legitimate source, maybe a friend, maybe a colleague. Uh, you'll see an interesting topic. Hey, click on this to, to learn a little bit more. Once you do that, you're either directed to a bad site, a bad URL site, where malicious software will be, will be installed, or you're actually opening up a document that contains malicious software. Uh, once the software is installed, it looks to communicate out to the uh, internet, to talk to its command and control server, and then it starts to encrypt your files and <laughs> changes your wallpaper, and away you go. You're, you're, you're pretty much hosed. And spreads all over the place. I mean, the whole city of Atlanta a week or so ago was basically in lockdown because of this. A Boeing was hit. That was a big story a week or so ago. Delta has been hit. I mean, this is these are big name brands that are having their situations, you know, controlled, basically. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, what these ransomware authors are really good at is exploiting very well-known vulnerabilities in common operating system, such as Windows operating system. So what they'll do is they'll isolate a particular set of users. Once they get an in, um, that malware is programmed to just spread all over, look for additional operating systems that match this criteria, easily exploitable, and boom, away you go. So yes, it's, it's something that's really hard to contain because there's an, a human element to all this as well. Not only is there a technology component, but you know, we have to be diligent about updating our systems, keeping the latest software patches up to date, making sure that we're running the latest security codes and things of that nature. And far too often in very large organizations, um, that's something that's very complex to be able to do, and it takes a long time to coordinate that. Any one you know, vulnerability in the, your, your infrastructure infrastructure, it can be easily exploited by these guys now. So that's good advice to do now to prevent it from happening, but what if it does happen to me, what can I do, or my business? <laughs> well, you know, hopefully you've done some due diligence around backing up your, your uh, or archiving your data. Um, that's the most important thing that we should be doing, is regular updates or regular backups of our data. So if we are hit with some kind of ransomware, well, we have to clear our systems, we have to completely wipe our system down and then restore that data from an archive. So regular updates are super, super important. But more so than that, be diligent about what you're clicking on. Look at what the emails are coming from, or who the emails are coming from, I should say. What they're trying to ask you to do. Does it look legitimate? Does it look a little fishy? If you're not sure about something, please don't click on it. You know, Delete that email and move on to something else. Um, those are the two main things that we can start to do to take a look at uh, preventing these types of activities. And maybe ask your employer, hey, do we have a plan for this? And what is it so I know in advance? That's very, very crucial. I mean, obviously security is, is a, a three tiered component. It has a human element, it has a technology element, but it also has a process and procedure element as well. Education is huge. Talking to your employees, understanding what the risks are, understanding what to look for, more importantly, when something happens, know what to do. Awesome. That is great information. Thank you very much. I hope nobody gets hit, but if you do, Don Meyer with Checkpoint Software Technologies, really good advice. Thank you very much for being here with us this morning. Thanks for having us today. Back to you.